I remember her saying, she's okay, she's okay, I've got her, I can hear her. We can hear her heartbeat, and I do hear her heartbeat. Like horses, horses running so fast. I'm petrified out of my mind. I'm telling my husband, tell the kids I love them, I'm so sorry. I thought I was going to die. In the moment, I really didn't, I didn't quite understand that Jovi was at risk. I thought it was me. I thought I was never going to meet her. My name is Casey Holder. I live in Cumming, Georgia. This is Remy, and this is Lila. Mm -hmm. And this is Emmy, and this is Jack. There's going to be a lot of names. Hey, Jack, how are you? I met Kristen on January the 6th of 2023. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> she was sitting on my arm. <laughs> I told her we're here for baby number six and I think it's about go time. She said, you're probably right. Let's get you in and get you settled. She was friendly. She was funny. We were, we were all excited. My name is Kristen Hopkins. I'm a labor and delivery nurse at North Fulton Hospital in Roswell, Georgia. Whenever the water was broken, I expected a baby to come out. To my surprise, I was shocked that this cord came out. With the calmest but very serious tone, Kristen said, we have a cord. It didn't register for me the severity of the situation until much later. But she was immediately aware our little tranquil birth just became an emergency. We went from zero to 100. And things were suddenly going very fast, and then Kristen says, we're gonna take you to the OR. I'm not afraid of a whole lot, but I, one of my biggest fears was having a C-section. And we were gonna go have a C-section right then. I do remember looking into her eyes. I remember feeling her emotions, and I meant it with all my heart that this baby's gonna be okay. I reassured her about that heart rate. Everybody heard the heart rate and it was good. And I'm just grateful that it turned out to be a good situation because sometimes it's not always like that. We have situations like hers, but there's certain people that you connect with and you remember more. And I felt that with her. People won't remember what kind of gauze dressing that we use, but they'll remember these moments where we looked them in the eyes, where we held their hand, where we comforted them. There's no telling what was happening in the unit that day. We have a busy labor and delivery. There was certainly someone else that Kristen was caring for. Is she gonna stay and have a baby? She's gonna stay and have a baby. Oh, good for her. Yeah. 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 Her team picked that up so she could be there and provide the time to just be with this patient. What's special about nursing is the time that we have with our patients. And we really get to know and understand what their needs are, how we can comfort them. And that relationship is what draws a lot of people to nursing. I woke up, I was by myself um, on a stretcher, and I said, where's Jovi? Where's Jovi? And then Kristen brings Jovi in. Here she comes in her green scrubs, just a smiling and happy, and she's got my perfect little pink rosy baby in her bassinet, and she brings her over. Hi, Jubby. Hi. Are you up here awake? What are you doing? You're a happy girl, huh? And I just remember it was all very, very surreal. But here's my baby, and here's my husband, and. We're all okay. She saw the cord, sounded the alarm, and was so cool under pressure. She did her best to keep me calm and reassured through the scariest moment of my life. My daughter's name is Jovi, and she's alive because of Kristen. Thank you, Kristen.